Okay. They should be here soon. Oh, boy. Fiona, are you sure they'll understand? Of course they will. You won't know until you ask them. <sighs> okay. I just hope you're right. And besides, I haven't seen Sonya and Manic in a long time. I wonder what they've been up to. Well, I don't know. And it'll be my first time meeting them, too. Yeah, I know. Anyway, all we just have to do is just wait. Or not. Okay, here we go. And open the door. Hey, bro, sis, it's good to see you. Sonya, who is this stranger? I don't know. He sounds like our brother Flame, but I wouldn't know because our brother Flame is way too busy. Okay, okay, I get it. I'm sorry I haven't seen you guys in a long time. It's just that things got a little bit too sketchy, okay? Well, either way, it's good to see you, bro. Yeah, it's good to see you too. Yeah, it's good to see you, Flame. Thanks, guys. Whew! Come on in, make yourself comfortable. Sure, and whoa, who is that sexy being right behind you? Bro, remember you're married. Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. But anyway, uh, it's nice to meet you. My name is uh, Manic the Hedgehog. I'm uh, Flame's little brother, and uh, yeah. And I'm Sonya the Hedgehog, Flame's little sister. It's really nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Fiona Fox. Wait, Fiona Fox, Fiona Fox. Hmm, I could have sworn I heard that name somewhere, but oh well, that must have slipped my mind. Manic, are you high? What, no, I told you, I don't smoke anymore. Manic. Okay, okay, fine. I may have took a couple puffs before I got here, but that's it, okay, that's it. Manic! What? Mom told you don't be smoking no more. Now that you're now that you have a wife and everything, you need to set a good example for like, I don't know, your future kids. I mean, what if they come home one day and see you smoking and thinking, hmm, maybe I should try that. I guess you do have a point. Exactly. So after this, we're going straight to your house and getting rid of every single bit you got. Ugh, fine. But it's definitely gonna be hard for me to go cold turkey. Too bad, so sad. Anyway, guys, this is Fiona Fox. She is an ex of Sonic. She's an ex of Sonic's. Wait, you used to date our brother Sonic? Yes, I did. Many years ago. <laughs> it was definitely nuts. Wait a minute. I could have sworn Sally told me about a Fiona Fox. Wait a minute. Flame! This is a traitor! This is a traitor of the Freedom Fighters! What is she doing in your house? Sonya, calm down. She's not like that anymore, okay? She's not like that anymore. She's 100% good, okay? She's 100% good. Wait, I don't understand what's going on. Well, Manic, let me break it down for you. You see... Fiona over here, she was once a member of the Freedom Fighters many years ago, but then she betrayed us. But then she betrayed us. Wait, what? It's true. In fact, if you want, I can tell you my whole life story. Please do, because I need to get to the bottom of why you're with my brother, and what's your plan next? Okay, I'll explain it. You see, many years ago, she was a prisoner of Eggman. You see, many years ago, she was a prisoner of Eggman. And so, Sonic and Mighty, they worked together to break out all the, all the prisoners Eggman has held hostage. They managed to get everybody out, all except for Fiona. And of course, I was really bad at the time. I was bad. Yeah, and so she turned to a life of crime. And so she turned to a life of crime and getting into all kinds of trouble. That's where she met Sonic. And Sonic was a little bit of a <laughs> nice to her, like a little bit too nice, to the point where she actually started to like him. 
she even said sorry for, you know, all the trouble she caused. And, excuse me, and not only that, she also forgave Sonic for, you know, not for not picking her up. And so she decided to join the Freedom Fighters. And so she decided to join the Freedom Fighters. Oh boy, that sure was a memory. By the way, I still have my old suit I used to wear. Old suit? What do you mean? You mean these aren't your normal clothes? No, she... yeah, no. She used to wear a yellow... she used to wear a yellow and white outfit with uh, matching boots. Here, I got a picture. Uh, okay, let's see what the picture looks like, and whoa, Jesus, now that is an outfit. Yeah, I still have it, even though it's a little bit too tight on me. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna lie, it, you did look, you did look really, uh, cute in here. Aw, well, thanks. <laughs> anyway, during that time, she was, she was Sonic's girlfriend, and, believe it or not, <laughs> Tails kind of had a crush on her, too. Sweet little Tails? Yep, yep, she definitely, yep, he definitely had a huge crush on her. And he was a little bit jealous that, you know, Sonic was with her and not him. <laughs> Who would have thought little Tails being jealous of Sonic? Well, to be fair, Sonic is definitely the, the person to get jealous at. Because think about it. There's a lot of characters out there who could be jealous of Sonic. But anyway, yeah, back to the story. Um, she joined the Freedom Fighters and helped out big. She helped out big, big. And not only that, she also uh, <laughs> kept Sonic company many times. But I always thought during the Freedom Fighter days, he was with Sally. Well, he, well, he was during the Freedom Fighter days. Heck, he was even with Bunny at the times. But they broke up. But they broke up, and soon he got with Fiona. And soon he got with Fiona. And then, one day, Fiona saw him, and he was acting a little bit too goofy for his own well-being. Turns out, he was another Sonic. Turns out, he was another Sonic from another universe. An anti-Sonic. An evil Sonic. Otherwise known as Scourge. And of course, he actually played the part to gain the trust of all the different, uh, all to gain to gain the trust of all of Sonic's friends, to gain the trust of all of Sonic's friends, even pretending to be him. It was nuts. Ugh. But the one person he definitely convinced was Sonic was Fiona, and it was just weird. In fact, when he when Fiona, in fact when Fiona kissed him. She noticed that something was really off. She noticed that something was really off. And so, believe it or not, she uh, found out that Sonic wasn't really Sonic. And so, Scourge revealed himself to her. But she had to keep it a secret. To the only... He, she had to be the only person who knew uh, Scourge's real identity. But why? It was complicated. And besides, Scourge was a whole lot more fun than normal Sonic, so I naturally fell in love with him. Oh boy. And because of that, she, and because of that, after when we got the whole Scourge thing situated, she secretly started going out with Scourge, all behind Sonic's back. Until the point where, oh boy, it was time for Fiona to finally make her move and break up with Sonic right in front of him, right in front of him, and reveal that she was actually going out with Scourge the whole time, saying that he was a much better version of Sonic, despite the fact that he was green. Despite the fact that he was green and stuff, oh my god, it was just horrible. But anyway, but anyway, and the worst part of it all is that she even broke poor Tails' heart. Tails confessed his love to her, and do you know what she did? What? She slapped him clear across the woods until he hit a tree. Fiona! Well, I was bad back then. It was just nuts. Not a good turn for me. Anyway, so they escaped through a portal ring, and they lived out their days 
in Scourge's world, otherwise known as Moebius, the evil Mobius, filled with anti-versions of us. It was just bad and crazy. And Fiona, she absolutely loved her new friends and teammates so much that they caused havoc all over both Moebius and Mobius, traveling back and forth, looking for the Chaos Emerald, so that way Scourge could go super and take over the world. It was nuts. Ugh. And so, Sonic wasn't the same after he broke up with Fiona. He actually, he actually stayed single for years. He actually stayed single for years until he finally got with Sally. Until he finally got with Sally, and it was nuts. Ugh. And then, years later, Fiona came back. Years later, Fiona came back and started showing off her newest outfit. Instead of wearing that yellow and white suit, she was wearing a black... She was wearing a black outfit with, like, silver-toed boots. Silver-toed boots, a leather belt, a top, black gloves, her hair was down, and she was wearing a yellow bow in her hair. Man, I wish I had a picture of it. Man, I wish I could see seen that. Yeah, sorry, Manic. No, you really didn't want to. Anyway, it was just nuts. Ugh. Anyway, those days were nuts. And then, one day, Fiona came to me, hurt, upset, because Scourge betrayed everybody. His own team, her, everyone. And believe it or not, she turned to us for help. She wanted to get away from Scourge, but believe it or not, she, f she found out she was trapped. Once she got a taste of Scourge, she never, she could never escape, or so he thought. Because ever since they got together, he claimed her as his property. That's just horrible. So what happened next? And so, I talked with Fiona for a little while. And she decided she wanted to become a freedom fighter again. At first, Sonic, Sally, Bunny, and all of our other friends, they did not want any part of her anymore. They didn't want any part of her. But I said, everybody deserves a second chance. And so, we gave her one. And ever since then, she's been doing pretty good. She changed her ways. She changed her ways, and she became good now. All the way until it was time for the Anti-Flame Syndicate War. And that was when I, that was when Fiona joined us in the fight against Scourge and all those other villains. It was amazing and a great turn of events. And from that day forward, me and Fiona, we liked each other very much. So much, we started dating. And here we are in the present. But guys, on to the reason why we asked you here. Look, me and Fiona, we've been together for a very, very, very long time. And I think it's time for the next step. Wait, bro. Are you seriously thinking what I think you're thinking? I think he is, Manic. Guys, me and Fiona want to get married. And we want your blessing. Well... I don't know, bro. After that story that you told us, I don't know if we can allow Fiona to be part of the family. I mean, what if she's still in cahoots with Scourge? I'm not, I promise. I cut off all communications with Scourge. Heck, I even burned... Heck, I even went through surgery to, you know, get rid of every inch of Scourge that he left inside me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy there, Fiona. No need for... That information? Ugh. But anyway, but anyway, guys, she's a changed woman. She's not evil anymore. And in fact, she's very, very nice. She's really nice, sweet, kind, and very, very beautiful. And I would really want her to be part of the family. All I need now is just your blessing. I already got Mom's blessing, and believe it or not, Sonic's. Now I just need yours. Well, I guess, okay, you have my blessing, because, hey, who knows, Fiona, are you into fashion? 
Are you kidding me? Look at what I'm wearing. Hmm, a little bit retro, but yeah, I guess we could become, you know, sisters-in-law and, you know, go shopping and stuff. And also, by the way, Amy's also our sister-in-law, so maybe you can join her. So, yeah, everything's cool. Well, me and Amy, we still have a little bit of history, but we're still okay. I hope so. But anyway, what about you, Manic? You're the Thai. You're the person that, you know, has to uh, decide it. <sighs> well, bro, if this woman makes you happy, that's good. But I'm not just thinking about you. I'm thinking about the benefit of the family. I mean, sure, I know I stole stuff and stuff. I know I stole stuff in the past, but if there's one thing I don't like, it's a traitor. So, bro, I don't know what to do. Manic, please. I really love this woman very much, and she would definitely be a great member of the family. Please, bro. Please. Oh, uh, okay, fine. You have my blessing, too. But Fiona, let it be warned. If I ever catch you hurting my bro, or at least hurting anybody else that I know and love, I swear to Mobius, I will make your life a living hell. Um, bro, I have never seen you this mad before. I'm just sick and tired of, you know, people messing with us. Especially you, Flame. You're the most sensitive out of everybody. You're the most sensitive out of all of us. That means that is true. But anyway, like I said, if she makes you happy, fine. You have my blessing. And like I said before, Fiona, don't make me regret it. I promise, Manic, I won't hurt Flame at all. And besides, I'll make a great wife and hopefully a great mother. Oh! Uh, Fiona, are you seriously considering, you know, kids? I mean, we're not. I mean, if you want to have kids with me, I wouldn't object. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're, I mean, you might as well step in line because there's a lot of Mobian girls out there who want me to, uh, you know, have kids with them. Rouge included. I mean, uh, I'm honestly surprised Rouge isn't... I'm honestly surprised Rouge never got pregnant to begin with because all the seducing and stuff that she's done and all the... Uh, <laughs> Eat her, eat her, eat her, eat her, eat her things that she's done. I'm surprised that she hasn't gotten pregnant yet. Ugh. Well, I heard that Rouge, she actually started, you know, taking special pills that the GUN gave her. So that way, in case she gets pregnant, she can just take them. Oh, well, that's interesting. I guess they want, I guess they want their top agent to be, uh, you know, slim and trim. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Oh boy. So, who else on that list do you do wants to have kids with you? Well, there's Blaze. Blaze? Blaze the cat? Yeah. And of course, there's also Amy. I mean, everybody knows that Amy, she wants kids. Pretty much almost all of Sonic's exes want me to have kids with them. Wait, what? Wait. Even Elise? No, no, no. Definitely not Elise. I mean, Sure, Elise is a beautiful woman and all, but I don't think I'll be able to have kids with her. I mean, have you seen the old Sonic movie design? Do you want that abom- do you want an abomination like that running around? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Exactly, that's just weird. But anyway, thanks for the blessings, guys, because guys, I really do want this. I really do want this very, very much. Well, you got it, bro. And like I said before, Fiona. Don't worry, Manic. I'm not gonna let him. I'm not gonna let her hurt him, okay? Plus, like I said, I can't hurt him. I'm not gonna hurt him. I love him too much. Okay, then. Anyway, bro, now that that's over with, you got any food? I'm starving. Uh, Manic, are you serious? And he went straight to the kitchen. Oh, boy. I'll go stop him. Manic! Stop roaming through other people's refrigerators! Oh boy. Well, Fiona, we got my we got my family's full um <laughs> blessing. So that means the wedding is gonna be happening. And I don't know when. 
I don't know when the wedding will be happening, but who knows when it will happen. Yeah, and I really be and I really can't wait to become Miss Fiona Dragonhog Fox. Yeah, that would definitely be some name. Oh boy. Anyway, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and comment down below. And also, let me know in the comments down below if you guys give me y'all's blessing to have to watch me and Fiona get married. Because guys, I guarantee you, a lot of you guys want to see Fiona and me get married. Others may want me to split up with her. But guys, hey, that's on y'all. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So that way you guys get updated whenever I post. And guys, be sure to keep an eye out for another video I'm going to be making. I don't know when. And I'm going to give you a list of all the girls who want to have kids with me. Holy mother. Guys, it's going to be crazy. And it's going to be all Mobian girls, just so you know. No MLP, no video game, none of, the, none of that other stuff. No Ruby, just Mobians. It's just going to be nuts. Anyway, this is Flame the Dragonhog. And the future Fiona Dragonhog. Signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers.